Hello there. Well, 2024 seems to be the year of elections. This year, there are over 50 countries and more than 2 billion voters going to the polls. And that, of course, includes us here in the UK. And we're getting a lot of questions at the moment saying, well, if a Labour got into power, what sort of effect might that have on my portfolio? And of course, you know, looking at the polls, that does seem quite likely. A change of government does look pretty likely at the moment. Um, but when we look at the data, historically, actually, it's made very, very little difference to UK stock market returns or indeed the UK economic growth, um, whether the Conservatives have been in power, whether Labour have been in power or whether there has been a coalition. And I think at the moment, I think the difference between the two parties seems to be quite uh, small, certainly in economic terms. You know, we traditionally think of the Conservatives as being a party of smaller government with less taxation and less government spending and Labour being the opposite. But right now the um, taxation as a percentage of GDP is actually as, as high as it's been for I think 70 odd years and Labour have sort of said that they're unlikely to put up taxes a great deal. So we don't think from an economic or market point of view it will make a massive difference which, which party is in power. Now, of course that's not to say it's not an important decision and we certainly wouldn't try and guide you which way to vote. And I'm sure there will be plenty of planning opportunities that our financial planners have to work with uh, when looking at those, any sort of changes to taxation or other things. But just from a sort of pure portfolio and investment perspective, we don't think it really makes much difference. Something else we're not sure will make much difference is the recently announced British ISA. Um, this might not even come in before the election, it's currently being consulted on, but in essence it looks like everybody will be able to put a further £5,000 into an ISA each year as long as they invest it into something British. Now we don't really know at this point what counts as British, whether it's going to be just British stocks, whether it might be bonds as well, um, would it be uh, any company listed in the UK, even those which make most of the money from overseas, or would it only be smaller companies, more domestic companies? We don't know at the moment. But even um, the, the reason for, for kind of putting this, uh, this package together is to try and stimulate the UK stock market. But even if lots and lots of people put that extra £5,000 into an ISA a year and it all went into British companies, again, we really don't think it would make that, diff that much difference. It's a very small amount in context of the, the, the stock market as a whole. So obviously we'll, we'll keep an eye on this and you know, when it's launched, if it's launched, um, we, we will talk to clients about that. But in terms of the market impact, again, we think that's quite small. But over the other side of the Atlantic, of course, we've got an election there this year as well. And that might have a bit more of an impact. It looks like Donald Trump is going to be the Republican candidate. And at the moment, he would actually be the favourite to, to win the presidency. Um, and it's very interesting when you look at, um, whereas in this country, there's not that much difference between the two main parties. The difference between Democrats and Republicans is much, much bigger. And it, it, that even it extends to their voters, where at the moment, a lot of Republican voters think the US economy is doing really badly, whereas Democratic voters, voters think the US economy is doing really well. And it's, it's really, really strange how you see these big differences. So if Trump became president, um, we, at the moment we don't have any kind of list of policies from him that he plans to enact. But based on what we kind of know, we think um, it's possible that there could be um, more kind of um, tensions with China more decoupling, they might uh, move further apart based on what happened last time. Uh, so uh, again, more deglobalization. We also remember last time that one of the first things he did was cut corporation taxes, which put up the profits of the, the companies after tax and therefore boosted the stock market. So again, that's something that he might do at the moment. Uh, we're not too sure. Obviously, it's a long way away till the election. Uh, the outcome is very uncertain and then even what happens is very uncertain. So there are lots of things going on this year. The US election might make a big difference and we'll watch, watch it carefully. Uh, we think most of the other elections probably won't have that much of an impact on portfolios and economies from here. Um, but as usual, we'll keep watching things carefully and, and make sure if anything is needed to, to be done, we'll do it very promptly. Thanks very much. See you next time.